Good afternoon, everyone. So before we begin, here are a few reminders to ensure that our event will go smoothly. Please note that this is an online event and it will be recorded. Except for the speakers, all other participants will be put on mute. May we also request everybody here to please rename yourselves according to the format that's being flashed on our screen. Also later on, we will have a photo session before we end this program, during which we would like to request everybody to turn on your cameras. We will share more instructions later on. If you have any questions, please submit it via the Google form that we will link in our chat box today here on Zoom. So we will be asking these questions on your behalf during our plenary Q&A. We will begin our open house shortly.
again, good afternoon, everybody. So before we begin, we are just going to reiterate our reminders for those who just came into our Zoom plenary. So here are a few reminders again to make, sure, to make sure that our event will go smoothly. So please know that this is an online event and it will be recorded. And except for the speakers, all other participants here will be kept on mute. May we also request that everybody please remain yourselves following the format that we've been flashing here on the screen. So later on towards the end of our program, we will be having a photo session during which we would like to request everybody to turn on your cameras and open up your videos. We will share more instructions about this later. And if you have any questions, please send it here to our SOSA representative in our Zoom chat, or you can also submit it via the Google Form link that's also been sent in the chat as well. We will be, we will be asking these questions on your behalf during the plenary of our Q&A session. We will begin our open house shortly. Thank you.
Okay, hello everybody. It is 3.30 and our event will now begin. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God for the invocation to be followed by the Philippine National Anthem.
Good afternoon, future Athenians. We are the School of Science and Engineering, and we are truly glad to welcome you to this year's virtual open house. Let's have a quick virtual kamustahan. So if you're excited and ready for today, please send a number one in our chat box. Let's go. Send out your number ones if you're excited for today. All right. I see a lot of number ones coming in. Woohoo! Let's go. I really feel your energy from here. Thank you, everybody, for sending your enthusiasm. I am your host, Margot Perez. Your resident K Poppy na laging happy from 4BS Computer Science. We would like to congratulate the dear students here for being accepted into Ateneo. And congratulations as well to our future scholars. We hope that you'll get to learn more about Atenean life and also have a glimpse of what it's like as a SOSA major. With that, we would like to acknowledge the presence of our department chairs from the Department of Information Systems and Computer Science, Dr. Andre Coronel, Dr. Eden Miro of the Department of Mathematics. All administrators, faculty, staff, students, and guests who are joining us here today. And now, let us welcome our university president, Father Bobby Yap of the Society of Jesus. Hello, and welcome to Ateneo de Manila University. I'm Father Bobby Yap, and I'm truly glad you are here for today's reception. First of all, congratulations and welcome to the next phase of your life's journey. Being accepted into Ateneo College is no easy feat. You have been chosen out of thousands from across the nation and around the world who want to experience the unique education and formation our university offers. In each one of you, we saw great potential for excellence and leadership, not only in academics, but outside the classroom as well. And we know that you have the talent and skill to become engaged and valuable members of society in the future. College will be a transformative phase in your life, one that will be a major part of your quest to fulfill your ambitions for yourself and your family. But I know that your potential for change goes beyond yourselves and that is the bigger more important reason why you are here today you all have it in you to be agents of positive change in society especially during these complex volatile ambiguous and truly uncertain times you can be a force for good in this world and what does being a force for good entail it asks of you to become brave it asks of you to make a stand for the ideas and values we hold dear. Justice, truth, integrity, honesty, equality, inclusiveness, openness. The things that are the bedrock of a free and democratic society even in the face of opposition and lies. It asks of you to go beyond your comfort zones. It asks of you to step out into the real world, to spark conversations with people beyond your own circle of friends and family. It asks of you to actually listen to their stories, their hopes, their dreams, their sorrows, because by truly listening, you will be able to better understand how you can help them build a better future for themselves and for everyone. And when you are presented with a choice, choose the more giving, more loving option. Whatever degree program or major you chose, an Ateneo education will present you not just with opportunities for personal growth and development. Ateneo 
will present you the problems and realities of the world and along with it the tools necessary for you to think critically and devise lasting solutions. An Ateneo education and formation will push you to become braver, more confident, and more loving. Recently, we have outlined a 10-year university strategic plan, which we have called Lux in Domino 2030. The name comes from the words that are inscribed in our university seal, Lux in Domino, Latin for Light in the Lord. We chose it because truly, this is what drives Ateneo's core mission to be the Lord's light in the world by forming persons for and with others. And we found it appropriate to name our strategic plan Lux in Domino because this is what our times call for. Our world needs people who will shine a light and lead the way. We are being called to change our ways as we emerge from a crippling pandemic and be prepared to face future threats to our collective health and safety. We are being called to address the crisis that has engulfed our nation's educational system. We are being called to immediately act and respond to the cry of an abused earth and to work towards a planet that our descendants can still call home. And we are being called to reach out to our fellow Filipinos in order to understand and heal the painful cultural, political, and social divides that hamper our nation's real inclusive progress. So I challenge all of you, be brave, make a stand, go out of your comfort zone, step out into the real world, choose the more caring, more loving path. Let us work together and create the future we all want and deserve. And Ateneo promises to stand by you and help you transform yourself into a force for good in our world. Thank you. And I hope to see you all on campus very soon. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Father Bobby. Now, let us welcome the Vice President of the Loyola Schools, Dr. Marlu Vilches. Welcome, dear students. Welcome to the Ateneo Loyola Schools. Welcome to the School of Humanities, School of Social Sciences, John Gokongwei School of Management, School of Science and Engineering, and the Gokongwei Brothers School of Education and Learning Design. Today is our open house. We invited you here and we thank you for accepting this invitation. With open arms, we let you in and your parents or guardians into our sanctuary so that you will get to know us better, so that we become part of your story and you become part of ours. Who are we? We are Atenem. This home is on a sprawling freshness of green under a blue sky. More than our lush environment, we are Ateneo because of our core curriculum, a set of around 79 units of formative courses that are shared by all Ateneo. The Loyola School's core curriculum is our trademark, unparalleled by any other universities in the world, and that's guaranteed. The core and the major forces, plus non-academic formative activity, train our students to have competence, conscience, compassion, and commitment. To respond to realities with a critical appraisal of past and implications, with creative use of the imagination to find solutions, with care and compassion for people. Your accounting class can take you to communities to introduce financial literacy there. Your student work may give you a premium experience tending to cancer patients in children's hospitals. Your NSCC class can help you discover the richness of ordinary folks in opportunities or in poor communities and be taught by their experience of justice. In economics, you may be doing baseline surveys on the economic conditions among the work. These activities help extend learning from the classroom to the community where education of the heart 
also. In the Loyola School, you have various opportunities to develop your other talents. Management engineers can also be creative writers. Information designers can also be part of a project that does game design with computer science major. I know of literature majors who are also engaged in social entrepreneurship. The dance and music groups in the Loyola School are likewise populated by psychology, humanities, mathematics, business, science students, as well. Interdisciplinary team is part of the DNA of Ateneo education in the Loyola It allows you to discover other synergies and opens up a lot of exciting possibilities for learning directions. You'd be glad to know that after two years of online learning, the Loyola Schools is ready to come back to the campus face to face. That's an exciting time. We have reconfigured our spaces to keep up with health and safety protocols. Certified as a safe campus by the Quezon City Local Government Unit, we piloted face-to-face -face class the second semester. Those class interactions have been highly appreciated by both teachers and students for the warmth and immediate connection they achieved. More than a thousand seniors are participating in hybrid class and a couple more thousands in other on-site students. During the intercession in June and July, we shall have four classes on-site, hybrid, meaning some of the students in a class are on-site and others are joining online simultaneously. Or all students are on-site at one point and the same students go online at another time. Or students are mostly online, but they go on site for selected activities like exams and labs. This arrangement is a way of gradually arriving at a good balance between the gains of online learning and the robust experience of face to face interaction. It would be so great to see you all in our classrooms during the first and second semesters. I invite you to join us and be inspired in classes by award-winning professors who have excelled in their disciplines consistently and make learning a rewarding experience. If you are inclined to try our junior term abroad program, that's an opportunity that allows you to spend a semester in a foreign university. We suspended it for the last two years, but we are resuming it this coming school year. So this is a time to plan think about it and plan for In the Loyola schools, attention to students does not only happen in the classroom. It is also at the forefront of services specifically designed for them. During this pandemic, we set up what we call LS1, our virtual one-stop hub for student services. It has made students feel that they have a community online that attends to their needs helping them navigate both the academic and non-academic terrain, guiding them in knowing where to go, for what they need, and always, always for someone at the end of the line or someone behind the digital connection to attend to their need. We shall continue to maintain this virtual hub even if we are going to park on site for our class. I'm happy also to report that the Rizal Library continues to serve the students and faculty with its increasing collection of online material that can be accessed from your bedroom or anywhere with a good Wi-Fi connection. The Rizal Library doesn't run out of initiatives in addressing learning and teaching needs. Come then and join us. In your breakout groups for school, you will get to know more specifically what lies in store for you in the field of study you have chosen. I hope you will come and join us in celebrating excellence as we continue to lead among Philippine universities in terms of real world impact based on the 2022 Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. Last year, when we first participated in the THE rankings, Ateneo was in the 200 to 300 bracket 
fifth year, Ateneo de Manila jumps to the 100 ones, 200 bracket. The highest among the 15 Philippine institutes included in the rest. With an overall score of 83.7 out of 100. It is also the highest overall placement of any Philippine institution since the impact grants began. Come and join us and be counted among the graduates that have all the chances to get a job. Ateneo de Manila continues to stay high up in graduate employability rankings according to the latest QS World University. The 2022 list named four Philippine universities in total, with Ateneo de Manila ranked 151 to 116, being the only school in the top two. This means that Ateneo de Manila University is the best school in the Philippines when it comes to preparing students for the world beyond higher education. I think that is one evidence of our ability to take care of students' talent. I invite you to join us to breathe in beauty in our lovely campus that calms with spirit and reminds us to the greatness of God's creative abundance and profit. In this environment, friendships grow, narratives are held sacred, and hope thrives to sustain us as one community despite our diversity, despite our political, cultural, and social divide. It is to this community that we shall welcome you. We hope that you will grant us that privilege. God bless all. Thank you, Doc Marlu. It's always so great to hear her and Father Bobby impart their wisdom and share their insights through these events. I remember when I was in your shoes and I was also wondering what the Blue School and Katipunan would be like. Soon, I hope they will no longer be strangers to you and that you'll really see more of them in the future. With that, we have another dear speaker from our social community. Let us now welcome our Dean, Dr. Rafael A. Guerrero. Thank you, Margo. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the School of Science and Engineering, or SOSE. Congratulations on your acceptance into our academic programs. I also congratulate your parents and guardians for this stellar accomplishment. Please allow me to share a few slides about the school. The School of Science and Engineering is one of the five Loyola schools of the Ateneo de Manalil. University. The Viola Schools is what we call our college component in the Ateneo. In this overhead view, we see our science education complex. This facility houses our high-end research facilities and our general science laboratories. Our other laboratories are scattered across the campus in different buildings. SOSE generates the most number of technical publications for the Ateneo, and we are the school with the largest budget for equipment as expected. As our students, we hope that you share our vision to become a globally recognized leader in STEM education and world-class research that serves Philippine society. You will become part of our mission in a community of educators, learners, and leaders that advances excellence and drives sustainable and inclusive national development through efforts in education, research, innovation, and social engagement. Our students become vital components in our research mission to use science and technology to help solve problems faced by Philippine society. Your thesis topics will fall under these priority areas, disaster science and resilience, emerging fields and technologies, environmental sustainability, public health and wellness, and STEM education. Although you will call specific departments home, your research experience will be multidisciplinary, and you will share concepts, ideas, and talents across all departments in the School of Science and Engineering. We recently held SOSA Week 2022, where we showcased the outstanding research performed by our students over the past school year. For the Department of Information Systems or Computer Science, or DISCs, 
we had a team of undergraduate programmers designing an educational game that would teach students to spot fake news in social media. For the Department of Mathematics, another team of students used wavelet concepts in image analysis and image classification as applied through neural networks. Aside from the world-class nature and relevance of our research topics, all of this research work is aimed at helping society. So as students are among the best and brightest in the entire university. You are part of a batch of 2,546 accepted freshmen. 58% of this year's top applicants applied to our programs in the School of Science and Engineering. SOSE is one of five Loyola schools, and our students make up 21% of this year's graduating class. But you will notice that 12 out of 27, or 44% of all summa cum laudes graduating this year come from SOSE. You are in excellent company. In the department breakout sessions later, you will learn more about the specifics of your individual academic programs. DISCs with Chair Dr. Andre Cornell accepted 687 students for this school year, and the Department of Mathematics with Chair Dr. Eden Miro accepted 131 freshmen. At this point, I congratulate all of you again on being accepted into our programs, and I enjoin you to join our mission in SOSE to build the nation through science and engineering, commitment, and service. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to the Ateneo. Thank you so much, Dean Guerrero. Now, everybody here may have a lot of questions about the Loyola schools and SOSE. So we've been gathering them here to our chat box in Zoom and also to our Google forum. So on your behalf, we'll be fielding some of your questions to our Dean and the department chairs. So let's take a quick look at some of the questions that we've had so far. So first, the question is, what are the modes of learning that will be applied for this coming school year? I am happy to report that for school year 2022-2023, or at least in the first semester when you enter college, our default mode for learning in the School of Science Engineering is hybrid. You will maintain some activities online. Our lectures, for example, will still be recorded, but there will be on-site activities in our classrooms and laboratories. This may involve problem-solving sessions or actual experimental activities. This will allow you to experience the campus and socially engaging with your batchmates and other students in the Ateneo. Thank you, Dean. We have another question here. Can I still choose another school after I send my requirements for a step two? I think this could be answered by our OAA representative. To our OAA rep, Ms. Joanne Lara, if you are in the call for. Hi, sorry, this is Christine. Sorry, but I have, uh, can you repeat the question again? Sure, Paul. So for the OAA, somebody is asking if they could still choose another school after they submit their requirements for step number two. Okay. Um, students who, uh, you mean by uh, the student wants to withdraw after confirming um, his or her slot in Ateneo. So that is possible. Um, the student um, may still uh, file for withdrawal after he or she has confirmed his slot in Ateneo. So that's still possible. So there's a form which the student has to fill out. Just send us an email so we can give you the link to the form. Okay, thank you, Miss. So I think that would be all of our questions now if nobody would have any follow-up questions. So thank you to our dear Sosa faculty. 
And you may email our dean at dean.sauce at atenea.edu for other questions and concerns. You may also email admissions.ls at atenea.edu for any admissions concerns. So with that, before we proceed to our department breakout sessions, we invite you to turn on your cameras and open your videos for our photo op now. So you may go ahead, turn on your cameras, open your videos so that we could take a photo all together. Okay, great. I see a lot of people opening their cameras. Thank you so much. And I think our admin team here at SOSA will be taking the pictures. Yes, Margot. Thank you. Okay, we have three groups for this other session. And I'm sorry. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, give your best smile, guys. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, let's proceed to the next group. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, and the next group. One, two, three, smile. And for the last group. Okay, one. Oops, yan yung mahabol. Okay, one, two, three, smile. One more. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, okay. may humahabol pa. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, the photo op is done. Back to you, Margot. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, Miss Aryan. So later on, we will be proceeding to the department breakout se breakout sessions rather, where we'll be welcoming you to your course program and to your home departments. So to end this portion of the program, we want to share the song for Mary. Yeah. 
behalf of the entire School of Science and Engineering, we wish everybody a good day and may you all stay safe. So please don't forget to click on the respective breakout rooms given in the links provided. These links will be found in our chat box and will also be flashed on our screen later on. For the students from DISCs, CS, and MIS, please remain here in our plenary Zoom session for your breakout room. This is Margot Perez, your resident K-Poppy and lagging happy from 4BS Computer Science, signing off as your host. Thanks so much, everybody, and we hope to see you on campus soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Margot. Thank you, everyone. And